hey everyone welcome back today's video is gonna be so interesting because you know that moment where you feel young but for some reason you think that you are old <laughs> you know how when you were growing up you used to think that people at a certain age have their lives all figured out till you get to that age and you feel like your mom but then you still don't have your shit figured out ah let me just stop ranting I turned 30 and these are some of my life lessons. Turn things I learned in my 20s. Some of them is not even 20s. I learned them in my 30s. Some I finally got to that reality check yesterday. So one of the things I learned about life is I have to stop worrying and start living. I have to slow down and smell the roses, be present. I know it can be hard because we are in this rat race where we are always rushing for the next thing we are fighting to get to the next point and it's so crazy because when i was growing up you know i wanted to be an ad, a, a, an adolescent then i became an adolescent and then i wanted to become an adult and then i became an adult i started being i want to get married i want to have kids i had kids you just like there's always this next thing we are jumping into and i have learned that i need to slow down i have goals i have dreams and rushing or being anxious or trying to rush it will not make it come any sooner slow down live in the moment one step at a time what will be will be rushing or being too anxious is not going to help i used to be like that i used to always look forward to the next thing that i miss out on the moment and time is of essence and once time is gone it will not come back it applies even with our loved ones we have people around us and we don't spend time with them we dream to have children then we have children and then we leave them and then we are picking up to the next things we we, we worry about getting married then we marry and then we are chasing money like there is always something next to go after growing up and becoming an adult I and mean, I, I i remember my late 20s when i was turning 30s it dawned on me that there are things that i remember i used to pray for and now i have them and i'm doing nothing with them people leave travel to go find money they find money come and marry white women keep the women and go back to find money then they have children and they leave the children you don't spend time with your child you hurry to get a job then you get the job and then you you strive to become the manager then you become the manager it's crazy it's just a rat race and we never take a pause to enjoy the moment to, to to smell like i said smell the roses to be present and feel the now because at least that's one thing you are sure of now we are always worried about tomorrow i always worry about the future i cannot worry about tomorrow because the bible says tomorrow we take care of itself i mean worrying about it is not going to solve it hurrying or rushing or anxiety or anxiousness is not going to make it come any soon and then with the people around us time is of essence i remember when my the, the night my dad passed he was in the reanimation and my sister is in the medical field my sister is a nurse and i was with him i'd left to go get a uh, blanket because i knew i was going to spend the night in the hospital i was on the call on the phone with my sister asking how is that what's happening how is he breathing what's his whatever and i gave some some numbers I, I did not know what it was and my sister being in the medical field knew my dad was going and i remember her telling me if only he would make it till morning and truthfully my dad did not make it till morning he passed on early am and when he said that i froze i wish i could pause and freeze time like please god just give me small time let me spend with this man and it's crazy how i remember sometimes when 
we had all the time and we were still uh, uh, young and he will come back from work we are in the parlor and we know he's coming to put CRU TV we rush into the room because let him do his part things we are kids we have our own things we are we are more concerned about but that moment I wish time would just stand still and let me spend a little more time with him I appreciated what time was I remember leaving everything and rushing to the hospital to just go and be with him and even there, I still forgot. So when he was passing, and I remember that my sister had said, she's not sure he will be till morning. So sometimes we are always in a rush. You are a young, a young person in your house and you don't want to spend time with your grandma because you think she's always going to be there. No, they are not always going to be there. And you don't want to live in regrets because you were always looking forward to the next thing. The people in our lives are not always going to be there. So sometimes rather than rushing and moving too fast, we should pause and look around us. Look, really look around you. Devour the moment, enjoy the moment, your environment, the people around you, and the smell. Sometimes we stand in places, we don't even look around us. We don't enjoy the beauty. We don't enjoy the things and the people in our lives because we are always looking for the next thing to achieve to go for there's just this rush so pause slow down and smell the roses be present we are missing out on a lot because we are always in a rush let me not take forever the next part is there is time and season for everything there is a time to hustle there is a time to enjoy there is a time you will be young and there is a time you will not be young when you understand this when you are in your season of pain you will have the courage to go through it because you know it's just a phase it's just a season and it will pass there is a time the light will be on you and everything will seem okay and there will be a time where everything seems like the wall has come crushing on you i remember in 2019 it felt like what is happening it's like the heavens were closed over me i tried no job i was losing money it felt like everything was going wrong and then another phase in life came where it feels like every prayer you pray god answers it that's to tell you there is a time for everything. There is a time when you have the ability to travel. There is a time when you have your dream car. There is a time when you have to grind. And it is okay. There is a time and a season for everything. When you understand that, when you learn that, when a season and a phase in your life comes, you will understand it. And you will just learn to go with the tides of life. Life is not straight. Life is up and down. When you understand that, you will know that when you are in your low, that does not define you. It's just a phase. It's just a season. It will pass. So I don't know where you are in your life, whether you are in your high or you are in your low. And that brings me to the point where we are just humans. Nothing is that deep. You might be in your up today. Don't look down on another person when because they are on their low. Because trust me, your time will come as it goes like this. It will come to you. I, I should just say it takes me to my next point, which is a beautiful face or a beautiful body without a kind heart is mere decoration if you are beautiful and you have compliments about how cute you are how nice you are those are just aesthetics if you don't have a kind soul and that's why i thrive to be beautiful inside out and i appreciate people in my life that are beautiful inside out because no matter how gorgeously looking you are if your character stinks you are ugly beauty without kindness is decoration i remember when i was in high school and i didn't know i was beautiful <laughs> it's so funny right i didn't know i was beautiful and i always look at the other girls in school that 
like had the attention and get compliments and everything and i'll be like oh my god this person is the most beautiful person i, I wish to be your friend so when you get closer to them some of them their attitudes things have you ever met someone you see so beautiful but then when you come closer to them their character just squeeze the beauty away they portray a certain character and the beauty just suddenly fades thrive to have a beautiful heart thrive to be beautiful inside out because if you don't have a kind heart if you don't have empathy if you don't have integrity if you don't if you are not beautiful from the inside anything on the outside is just decoration i cannot do life without god I came here, I don't even know how I got in here. I don't know how a finger is made. I don't know how a, the strand of my hair is made. It would be crazy for me to think that I can go about life without the creator, without the manual, the one, without seeking to understand the manual, like my own life. I can only understand life from the person that made life. How do you do life without God? And that's why I don't, I don't have anything to do with someone that don't have some sort of a spiritual practice. I, I'm like, how are you doing it? Where, 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 what's your backup? And I'm not talking about going to church. I'm talking about having a relationship with God, working in partnership with God and the Holy Spirit. I just cannot. I have learned that it's not about going to church. It's not about just doing it because I was told to. I've gotten to the part where I, I seek to understand and to build a relationship with God and my journey with God. I used to say sometimes every time on my on in my life, I'm on a project with God. Okay, we are doing this thing because I cannot do it by myself. Like I said, how? I cannot. It's not possible. So you cannot do life without God. Another thing I have learned in life is perfection is a scam. And I don't want to throw blame, but I will say our parents do not do a very good job teaching us this lesson because they always give us the impression that everything is okay. Perfection is you have to be the best at everything. And that's a lie. When I learned that, I began just accepting myself. I'm not saying you should be mediocre, like you should just do things anyhow, but going after perfection you are setting yourself up for sadness and i don't know how to put it because there is no such thing as perfection in my own world i have learned that and i'm living by it you can only be better you can only thrive to be better you can't be the best at something at a particular time you cannot be the best at everything at all times so imagine you are trying to be perfect at something how long will you stay in that with the world that is evolving so perfection to me is a scam you cannot be perfect you can only thrive to be better because someone out there knows that thing better than you someone some there's something bigger than that and the bible says there is nothing new under the sun so there is you are not coming to make it more beautiful than what the sunset or sunrise there's no perfection is a scam if you are trying to be perfect you are setting yourself up for sadness and there's no such thing as perfection no it doesn't exist another thing i've learned and it's a life lesson and it's so difficult to come to terms with it is that i make choices ah <sighs> let me read this one well i have a choice in everything everything it's my choice how my life play out it's my choice i used to blame everybody except myself i used to think i'm the victim no i'm not the victim i made a decision to believe the lies that were told to me i made the decision to go a certain path because everyone said uh, if you do this you are going to succeed that was my choice i could choose to to do something else it, it, it's all it's you you're always making decisions it's your choice to do it or not do it your life choices are your decision they are yours you are you are responsible for it no one can be blamed for it you are not a victim i'm not a victim I, if i fail in life it's my responsibility the fact that everybody sleeps at night doesn't mean i should sleep at night i make the choice i took that decision to go and sleep the moment i learned that 
I'm always making a decision. I became more conscious of the things I do and who to relate with, how to spend my time. You are a product of your choices. You are always choosing. It's always you. It's always me. It's not on any other person. When I learned that, I knew that I had to be responsible. I had to be responsible for the way I feel. I had to be responsible with the responses I give to people because at the end of it, it is inside of me. I always make this analogy that whatever comes out of you is truly who you are, regardless of the, the, the circumstances. If you squeeze an orange, orange juice will come out. So whatever comes out of you, it's you. So you are the one always making a decision. Someone will tell me it's because I come from Africa. It's because I am black. No, you choose how to, to, to respond to things. You choose how to, to react to, to, to things, to negativity, to positivity. You choose how to live your life, whether to be happy or to be sad. It's always your decision. If you don't want to be sad, you can look at your life and ask, why am I sad? And change it. If you don't want to be poor, you look at your life, why am I poor? And try to change it. You are always making a decision. I learned that the hard way after blaming everybody. And now one of my life lessons is I'm not a victim. It's my decision. When someone hurts me, I don't only go blaming the person. I ask, why did I leave the person? It was my choice to keep this person around. It was my choice to be to stay friends with someone that showed me signs that they are going to hurt me, but I kept believing in them. It was my decision. So with that, I stopped the blame game. I stopped playing the victim and start taking responsibility. So however your life turns out or where you are is as a result of your own choices another thing that i've learned is in life is that there is just this thing called life it's not about you it's not about anybody it's just life life will play out the way it wants to play out and there is nothing you can do about it and it it comes uh this one hits so bad because sometimes you just want to be in control of everything who is like me? I used to be like that. I want to be in control. I want to know what's coming. I want to know everything. I want, I want to be in charge. I want to know. I just want to be in control. No, guys, you cannot. I was talking with my husband the other day and I'm like, sometimes you know how you put everything you've planned and then life looks at you and smile and say, baby girl, turn, you turn. He said, can you bet? And he kicks you in the ass. Sometimes it's not anybody, it's not you, it's just life playing out. Like I said, life is up and down. Immediately it's like this, it's there. Sometimes you program your life, you put everything and you say, I, I did everything. But then life happens. What do you want to do? If you just accept that there is just something called life, we have control. But it's only to an extent. Another thing I learned in my 20s, like this one I did not even learn in my 20s. I learned it in my 30s is that find your tribe. Find your tribe and pray to God that you find it early. Now your tribe is your inner circle. I'm not saying that some will be there forever, but just find your people. Some friends in my mom's life, I remember that I have a mom now that till today people don't know that we are not blood. My mom will have one friend and will call her auntie till we grow to know that that auntie is not even blood. Like they are just that type. I didn't understand. I wish I knew that when I was still very young to like build my tribe. I used to just have friends here and there. You have friends in primary school, you leave the friends in primary school, train new friends in secondary school, leave them there and then university, leave them there. You, you have different friends at different places. You don't have your tribe. And I will not overemphasize to you the power of having your people. Right now, I don't mind. I have grown to the point where I can count my friends, but then they are quality friends and not quantity. Don't spread yourself too thin. Build your tribe. And if you can't build it early, have two or three people that are your people that you can go to, you can call them, they are always gonna be there. Your tribe. 
it's so important than having 1000 friends or having people that you call friends that are not really friends find your tribe i used to really enjoy when i see someone and this is my friend for 5 10 15 20 years like this is this this these are your group of people and i'm not saying that you should find your tribe is someone that you had known since primary school means that you no know, just find the people that you connect you build bonds with and invest in those relationships there are relationships where i feel like if i had invested in that relationship and not just spread myself and keep friends 1000 friends and not invest in some of those relationships and really nurture and keep them but now i have learned that and i have very few friends and i invest my time and everything to that or to those relationships another thing i have learned about life is that mindset is everything if you have been on this channel that's one thing i've been saying your mindset about life is everything how you see life i always say what you're looking for is what you get if you see life as negativity negativity you shall get if you see marriage as a bad thing that's what you are going to experience your mindset about life is so critical it's what i call the law of attraction it's what you give out to life and what you give is what you receive is the energy that you give to something that you're going to receive so i had to start working about my mindset about life my mindset about money my mindset about myself my mindset about marriage my mindset about general relationship i had to work on my mindset mindset is so important there is no topic i will talk about without starting with mindset how you see it is what you get. It will be so hard for you to look at something from a negative standpoint and then suddenly start seeing positivity. It's so hard because what you're looking for is what you get. Have you ever sometimes start thinking about buying a car? or a red dress and out of a sudden it feels like you see more red dresses than any other color no you start thinking about something and it feels like the universe starts giving you just those things there was this time i was admiring cars and i would just pass around and notice that the kind of car my dream car yeah my dream car it's not like this time it's it's, it's my now <laughs> I have this picture of my dream car, like the car I want to get. And I would just notice that I would cars will be passing. I'll be like, oh, babe, that's that my car. You understand? So what you give out is what you are going to see. So your mindset about life is something we have to work on. I had to work on my mindset about life. I discovered that mindset is everything. It's key. Another point is, oh my God, 25 is not old bro 25 is not old and i really want to say this <laughs> oh my Jesus, to all my little sisters you know someone has i remember my q a someone asked me what would i tell my younger self 25 is not old 25 is not a death sentence 30 is not old 35 is not old 40 is not old you are not early you are not late you are right on time yes you know this 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 pressure we put on ourselves i want to be here like i said you should have goals you should work hard you should have work ethics but that pressure of timeline and how things should happen and when it should happen you remember when i said there is just this thing called life it will kick you in the ass and turn your world upside down you will face a lot of disappointment you can only do your best you can put set goals for yourself but you cannot have all those timelines the way you think because it's not all in your care and your control 25 is not old 30 is not you are right on time don't put pressure on yourself that you are too late you are rushing to go and do what you want to arrive early you want to get everything at the age of 25 then what will be left for you to look forward to in life sometimes i say i'm happy that i didn't get the things i used to pray to have at a certain age because i don't know what i'll be doing now with my life imagine you're 25 and you have everything 
what will you be doing with the rest of your life you are not late you are right on time and then sometimes we we just like oh i'm too young i'm still young so no time time doesn't wait for you but then don't put so much pressure on yourself about certain things you are not late you are not early go with the flow do the best you can if you have something to learn learn it don't procrastinate and take action when necessary if you have to do something do it another thing that i learned in my 20s that is so important to me now is stop trying to prove yourself you live your life with nothing to prove nothing to hide nothing to defend it's crazy how trying to prove ourselves to people will influence your decision making there are so many things that we are doing that sometimes we don't like because we are just trying to prove ourselves to our loved ones our family exes childhood friends i want to tell you that i told you i could do this live your life with nothing to prove because at the end of the day when you prove them wrong or right then what how does that benefit you and that is just to feed your ego not your higher self when you are trying to prove yourself i told you i can do it and i i fell in that trap so deeply because i remember after i had my first son that was in high school and i was like okay now everybody knows that i'm a failure so i'm going to prove them wrong i'm going to work hard to succeed then you are not living your life for you you are living your life for other people and you are not here to be a sheep living life for other people you are here to live life for yourself to fulfill purpose so i learned that i'm living my life i don't have to prove myself to anybody if you don't see my worth then that's on you i don't have to do certain things to make zeta more zeta i am already me and this is how i am i just have to do my best to live my life to live right in a way that doesn't hurt another person to be happy for me to do the things that i care about and my loved ones if, as much as i'm not hurting the people i care about or hurting anyone then i'm good if i have to prove to you then maybe you are not even my person i cannot go proving myself to you prove my worth prove my what i cannot it's just too much of a job to do I live my life with nothing to prove, nothing to defend, nothing to hide. And it leads me to another point that I say, when you come into life, don't hold back and don't force yourself to be anything. Don't fit in and don't try to be different because we don't want to fit in. We've tried to do things that we are not because we don't want to be like everybody. No, just live life. At some point, you'll be like everybody. Sometimes you will stand out. Sometimes you, and it's okay. You'll be like every other person. It's okay. However, just be you. Be your authentic self. I cannot be any other person. I cannot try to be a man. I cannot try to prove tough. No, I am me and I have to be whole and be tender and be emotional and be vulnerable. I don't have to try to be something else. I don't have to prove by portraying certain attitudes for you to know that I am strong. I don't have to be rude in order for me to be assertive. No, I just have to be me. I just have to be my authentic self. And if it's not okay with you, then that's on you, not on me. Because I used to say that why should i work so hard to live my life to please other people when nobody is trying to live their life to please me i was just having this introspection and i said when there is no face to it it doesn't exist you remember how we used to say i don't want to do it because they would think they will if there is no face to it then it doesn't exist and if the face to it is somebody that doesn't know you if someone knows you and then you see, I have to prove yourself to that person. Then that person is not your person. If you know me, then you know that this is how I am. If you judge me because you don't know me, it's because you don't know me and I cannot take your opinion so seriously. Stop worrying and start living. Life is always going to be here. If you worry, it doesn't change anything. If you become anxious, it won't bring it faster. Life will happen 
things will happen when they are supposed to happen so trying to force it no it won't happen pause and enjoy life take risks get out of your comfort zone just be just allow just live life set goals work do your best but stop forcing stop trying to be too smart and think that you can now play life it will not happen yes those are some of my life lessons i will talk about some detailly and if there's any other thing let me know in the comment section subscribe to this channel tell a friend to tell a friend if this content helps you and see you on my next video